Hello, my strong, strong friends. In today's video, I'm gonna take you guys through a lower body workout. So we're doing some squats, hip thrusts, all kinds of lower body accessories. So let's go. I'm gonna try to go a little heavy today for the camera. What do we think? For pre-workout, I'm just having buff reds. We are out of stock of these, but they're coming back very, very soon. They should hit the warehouse whenever we get back from the Arnold. So date to come. We do have green apple pre-pump. It's restocked and then we're coming out with a green apple flavored creatine so you can get all your green apple i know they're natalie's favorite so green apple's coming back anyway let's go the reason i'm not having pre-workout is because i'm breastfeeding i'm gonna try to make it to 12 months one year and then i'm done cold turkey cut her off i might have feelings about it whenever that happens but i'm ready to have pre-workout i'm ready to not be worried about caffeine intake yeah i'm ready all right, we're at the start of a brand new block of training for Stronger by the Day, which is my program. If you guys are interested in it, we have a brand new app. So come on over, check it out. It's a great time to join at the beginning of a mesocycle. So come on over. I'm gonna do a little bit of a squat warm up just to get my hips and ankles ready. So if you need squat warm up ideas, then this is for you. This is not it, <laughs> I'm just moving. First mobility drill is going to be a seated 90-90. So I'm gonna have both my legs at 90 degree angles, and then I'm going to rotate and switch over sides so that they're facing, and my upper body is facing the different, a different direction. So here, we're working in some internal rotation and external rotation with our hips. If you struggle with your ankle mobility, you might wanna try this one. So we're just gonna come up to a wall for a wall stretch and maybe give your foot some space, your toes are away from the wall, but while our back foot is on our toes, we're going to drive our front foot knee towards the wall. So kind of driving that knee forward while keeping your heel on the ground here. This last stretch is a little more advanced, gonna be good for your ankle mobility again. You might see weightlifters do this pretty often, so I'm just gonna take an empty bar and kind of place it towards the end of my quads right before my knee and what that's gonna do is it's going to help my knees further drive forward you can hold onto the bar but make sure your upper body is upright and try to avoid collapsing at the ankles or collapsing your knees inward so you'll often see your favorite weightlifter doing a cool stretch like this so i thought i'd add it in here try to be a little bit of a poser but it does feel really good especially before squats are you rapping because you got grandma knees yeah when you're a mom should be changing. <laughs> Just kidding. It's been like this. Next, we have hip thrust. So we finished our squat. I hit 12 reps for my AMRAP. I could have gone more reps, but um, I'm still, you know, coming back from postpartum, so I'm just taking my time. I, I will raise my training max because I think that was still a little too light for me. And now we're gonna do hip thrusts. We don't have a full tutorial of the hip thrust, so let me know if that's something that you guys wanna see, but I'll just right now give you a quick primer of how to do it. One important lesson is to find a box that you're using that is low enough to be comfortable for you to easily get up. A lot of times you'll see people use a bench because that's the only thing they have, but if you can find a soft plyo box like this or a lower surface, like whatever you use box steps for, that will probably for most people be a better height than a bench, which is higher. All right, next we have a superset. The first exercise is a box step up. So I wanna show you guys something here. A lot of times, again, you're stuck with a box that's like 20 inches, 24 and 16. You wanna make sure that when you choose a height that it's not too high. So this is an example. I think this is 20 inches high and this would be too high. What I want is instead I want my foot or my leg to be at a 90 degree angle whenever my foot is on the box. So this way I can push solely into my front foot and use that and my glute back there to raise myself. I don't want to 
kick off with my back foot, which is kind of what I'd have to do here because it's so high. So find a box that's appropriate for how tall you are. If you're short like me, I'm 5'3". <laughs> this is, I think, a 14 inch box. So this is perfect for making sure that I'm not kicking off and using that back leg for support. We're gonna superset our box step ups with walking lunges. Since I'm personally focused on making this a glute exercise right now, tips that I want to use are a longer stride length, more of a forward lean, and more flexion at the hip. So use those tips if you want a glute dominant walking lunge. If you wanted more quad, you could take a shorter stride length, more upright torso, and more forward knee travel. So try that for your walking lunges depending on what your goal is. Next, we have stiff leg deadlifts. So the difference here, obviously, is that my legs are going to have minimal knee flexion. So the purpose of this exercise is to make it a little bit more hamstring dominant rather than glute dominant here. So different from the lunges. So what we're gonna do is minimize the knee flexion. So instead of bending at the knee like we would a regular deadlift to meet the bar, we're going to push our hips back while minimizing any movement in the knee. In a regular deadlift, your knees would come forward so that more of your posterior chain is helping you lift the weight. So we're isolating the hamstrings a little bit more here by minimizing this movement. A lot of time our accessories will sometimes use with implements like dumbbells or kettlebells, but I've been liking using a barbell for some of my lower body accessories so that I'm more inspired to keep pushing up the weight. So here, I'm gonna use a barbell, but you can use a kettlebell or a pair of dumbbells, whatever you choose. Just make sure that you're going heavy and you're pushing yourself. Okay, I just have two simple leg extension cues. You wanna make sure that you're using the handles to help pull yourself into your backrest and down. So kind of like actually pull down. You can see I'm getting some tension there. And then when you're setting up your back pad, try to line up your knee crease with the end of the seat. Okay, that's all for this video, you guys. I'm gonna head home. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys are new here, then please do subscribe to my channel. And if you liked this workout, give the video a like so that I know to make more like it. We will be at the Arnold. We'll be there with some new merch. We will have whatever we don't sell there on our website. So I'll link those down below and I'll show you all the swag and all the supplements that we have launching for exclusive Arnold stuff. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.